Hello and welcome to the lesson on what is a network, National 405 Computing Science. By the end of this lesson you should be able to describe what a network is and also describe what a standalone machine is and explain the difference between a LAN and a WAN and try and explain, or at least start to explain the difference between the internet and the World Wide Web. So, what is a network? Well, first of all, let's look back at the way it used to be. Back in the day, when I went to school, we had a room full of 20 computers, but they weren't connected. So you had to use the same computer every time you went in the lesson. If you were feeling flush, you had access to a floppy disk and you could back up your stuff to a floppy disk. But we had to use the same machine in the room every time. Now there are problems with this. What if your computer fails? Okay, the one that you normally work on, the hard drive fails, um, pro proce processor fails. You potentially would have lost all your work. Um, you want to send data to, you want, you want a, f uh, a friend to look at a file, you'd have had to literally, physically put a file onto a floppy disk, because that's what we had at the time, and moved it over. Even nowadays, if the machine that you were connecting on wasn't connected to a network, you wouldn't be watching this video if it's on the web. What if someone else is using your machine? So you have to be in that five people, but a higher candidate also uses that standalone machine, and they're already on it you can't get access to your work. What if you have a huge amount of computers and you need to install some software? You would need to install every machine individually. A network is a series of computers that are connected so they can send and receive data to achieve some task. Now the first information was sent in roughly 1969 between the universities of California and Stanford over in America. Now I think the message was meant to be something like login, just to test that it was actually doable. But the, the system actually crashed, so the first actual um, message transmitted between two computers wasn't anything more profound than the letters L and O. There are two, well there are more types of network than this, but we're going to look at two main types to start off with, a LAN and a WAN. So LAN standing for local area network and WAN standing for wide area network. Now a LAN is a network that connects computers in a, a small geographical location, a single building. So even if you had a group of game consoles connected together or a group of um, machines connect, connected together to play online games together, that would be a LAN. Now they can be wired or wireless, but more on that later. Um, a wide area network is a network that connects computers over large distances, such as in different towns, countries. The internet is the biggest example of a WAN that we can give you. Now they're usually connected by telecommunication links, be they phone wires, fibre optics, satellites, microwave transmitters, anything that could be used to send over a large distance. So this would be a, um, a sample LAN. So we've got some clients, which are these three machines here. We've got um, a server, and we've got a printer. This is just a router that's connected to a firewall and would connect the network to the outside world, but more on that later. Now a wide area network can also be used to connect two LANs together. So if an office had two if a sorry, if a company had two offices, one in Aberdeen and one in Dundee, they can they had a LAN in Dundee, they've got a LAN in Aberdeen, using some form of telecommunications link, in this case probably the internet, um so phone phone lines and such, they can connect the two wide area networks to get the two local area network networks to form a wide area net network. Right, they can be expensive to create, so why bother? So for example, why does your school have a LAN? Remember if we go back, we said that if previously if you didn't have a network, to move data you would need to put it on some form of backing storage to move it. Okay, these days we'll have USB flash drives, CDRs, DVDRs, etc, etc, but networks make it far easier to share data. Odds are, in your school, uh, you will have a room full of X computers, you'll have one printer. You can even share scanners. In fact, modern operating sy systems can actually share projectors, but they allow you to, to, to buy one expensive printer and share that amongst multiple youth users. So that actually gives you a cost saving. And without a LANs, 
there would be no e email, even if it was only internal e email inside your school. You would need a network to be able to do that. So, question. How many of you have the, in the internet at home? This is a statement you often hear. Yeah, I've, I've got the net at home. Well, none of you have, because what you have is access to the internet. But more on that a bit later.